at home, one to call a provider. A sudden increase in pain, sudden increase of pain and swelling, and the unusual redness, heat, drainage at the incisional site, any fever, 101 or greater, a trouble breathing or chest pain, call 911. Pain management at home. Continue taking your pain medication as prescribed by your physician. As time goes on, you should be able to lessen your pain medication, allowing yourself to stretch out the amount of time between your pain medication. Let's say if your pain medication is ordered every four hours as needed, you should be able to stretch it out as time goes on to five hours to six hours as the time goes on, um, then skipping a dose and then skipping another dose, um, lessening and lessening the amount of pain medication you are taking. This is how you will eventually be able to go off your pain medication. It's also recommended to take your pain medication 30 to 45 minutes prior to a physical therapy session. Caring for your incision. Incisional care is pretty easy. The most important thing with incisional care is keeping your hands clean if it's going anywhere near your incision. Here's a list below of further incisional care techniques. Next, we're gonna mention blood clots. So blood clots are rare, but they can be very, very serious. Um, a few things you can do to prevent blood clots, of course, are move um, activity every hour while you're awake. Um, do those simple ankle pumps. Again, getting up and move. You can't stress how important um, that is to get up and move. Of course, um, the compression socks or the TED hose, if those are ordered by your physician, or any ACE wraps or any sort of compression wraps, if those are ordered by your physician. Um, and then of course, taking your anticoagulant or your blood thinner pill, if that is ordered by your physician as well. Next, we're gonna talk about swelling. Swelling is definitely a key component of total joint replacement. Um, swelling can definitely increase with exercise. Um, it can also be improved with elevation and ice um, are definitely things that can help with this along with resting. So keep that in mind when it comes to improving swelling. You're going to rest, you're going to elevate, and you're going to ice very key components of helping with that swelling. Next, we're gonna talk about constipation. So why are we talking about constipation? Well, you just went through surgery, you're less active, you're probably drinking a little bit less, you're probably eating less, you probably have a little bit different diet than normal, you're on pain medication. Um, all of these things, your body is just a little bit off. Um, so this creates constipation. So a few things you can do to help with this. Um, you're going to increase your fluids. You're going to increase your fiber intake. Um, maybe increase a stool softener. All these things will help with constipation, but it is very, very important to think about this because you want to get on top of this issue so it doesn't create an issue um, and you're having to deal with this.